Hi guys, it's Jetro here. Thank you for watching Forgotten Sites. Today I invite you to come along with me and visit this beautiful place. It's a necropolis that's located in the south side of Sao Paulo. It's a beautiful one. This cemetery was founded in 1965 and is the first um, garden-like cemetery in Brazil. It's interesting, the story of the cemetery, that it was created due to the death of the German jurist, Julius Frank. He was a professor at the San Francisco Law School, High Law School, here in Sao Paulo. He was Lutheran, and uh, as a Lutheran, he could not be buried in a Catholic cemetery. So, he was buried in the courtyard of the school, the high school. Then, due to that, the Protestant Cemetery Association was created so that any person of any religion could be buried in this place. Um, some notable persons have been buried in this place such as the football player Leonidas da Silva, also known as Black Diamond, also a Brazilian composer called Adoniram Barbosa. He was composer and singer. And also the ex-Brazilian president Jânio Quadros. I'm going to show you now where my relatives and some family members are resting. It's exactly in this place. Here. I have here two uncles, an aunt, my youngest brother, or also rest is here, as well as my grandpa and my grandma. I miss a lot of them, especially my brother. We are great partners. He died when he was only 19 years old. It's interesting that my, my uncle, unfortunately, I did not meet him. He was the first young person to be buried in this place in 1965, as soon as the cemetery was inaugurated. My uncle was murdered, he was only 18 years old, and he got two shots on the back because of a girlfriend. Afterwards, the assassin came to my grandma to ask for forgiveness. That's the place where rest is the remains of the ex-Brazilian president Jânio Quadros. My grandma, who also rests in this place, she lived right across a wall that's up there. I'm going there, up here. i show you. And uh, it's very interesting because she used this place as a shortcut to get to her home. She used it to say, a uh, story that happened to her and my mom, and my mom was a child only. They were coming back from, from the church at night, it was about 10 p.m. As they were 
walking through this place they heard uh, a voice some voice like a Japanese conversation my mom <laughs> asked my grandma mom did you hear that my grandma said yes I did then they run away from that place in the next day my grandma contacted a um, worker from here and told him about what had happened and the night before he was appealed because he said that Kreuzia Kreuzia is my grandma's name Kreuzia I'm really scared now because two days ago the entire Japanese family victim of a her accident were buried in this very place you said that you heard a noise <laughs> I'm not into paranormal things so you know as you may know I'm not in those things but uh, of course I believe that the devil exists as well as the angels uh, I do not believe in ghosts and I think that that sound they heard was the devil playing around pretending to be someone because I believe that after that there's no way you can get back it's creepy but real now I'm going to show you the place where my grandma lived see that roof that construction my grandma, the house of my grandma, was right behind that wall, in that place. Right after this wall and these trees, it's my grandma's house. Many, many years before, there was no wall, only a fence, a small fence, separating the cemetery and the neighborhood tell me what do you think about this i mean about the death do you believe in god or not there are many atheists i know nowadays i do respect everyone i have my faith if you do not have anyone it's okay for me i do not want to believe in my faith i do not want to be christian or buddhist or spirits or something let me see in the comments down below It's really a peaceful place. What do you think about cemeteries, about necropolis? Are you afraid of that? So guys, that's it, that's the end of this recording, I hope you have enjoyed this walk through this necropolis, this beautiful place, and if you so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, that's the first video of the channel, I'm sorry for any mistakes, the next one will be better, I hope to improve at each video I'm going to launch, okay? I thank you a lot for your company, for watching this video I'm finishing with this place that's the place where me, myself in the years to come the days to come, I don't know the future only God knows the place I will be buried okay that's it guys, thank you a lot for coming by I hope to see you next time bye